Perfect. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the intercollegiate uh, Slippy Week. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going off. Oh, okay. Okay. We got to warm up here. Uh, yeah. So right now we have Georgia Institute of Technology versus Brown University. Uh, third place match. Um, yeah. Winner of this place is third. Loser loser takes fourth. Uh, just some some real dweebs going at it on both teams. Uh, Ivy League kids versus tech nerds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Velma, like, co-casting with my man Scrappy here, who just insulted <laughs> two of the most astute universities in the country. Um, <laughs> and the game that we all hold so dear. Uh, so we got Kuba playing Falco for Brown, I believe, and Karan playing Fox for Georgia Institute. Um, I have that right, right? Yeah. Okay, and, great. Uh, and to just two spaces going at it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, being a bird myself, uh, like the, uh, like the spacey matchup, um, I think it's fast, exciting, I don't know. Oh, yeah, as a spectator, it's gorgeous. How do you like it as a Falco, though, playing Fox? I like it, I think, uh, I think, like, any sort of, like, big advantage people say Fox has is kind of overrated. Um, mm -hmm. I think Blazer can really stop him in his tracks, I think, I don't know. Their tools are different, and they're pretty equally matched. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, sure. Oh. Well, once, once again, this is the, the match that will decide the third place of this uh, crew battle tournament series. Um, and Kuba off taking the first stock for Georgia Tech. Yeah, um, so really, like, exciting movement out of these two. Um, uh, maybe some nerves with, like, side Bs on stage, but that's, uh, that's to be expected in a We love the Arcadian ledge dash, and, uh, gets punished for the double laser from the edge. Um, uh, Brown University on the board. Ooh, that's a fatty ass smash, nice, dude. Yeah, nice weight on that. That stuff hurts. Um... I saw a clip on uh, Twitter today of uh, of Moki playing a tournament yesterday, and that guy knows how to wait. That guy knows how to just that guy knows how to stand still and then press all of the buttons. Man. Yeah. Um, so uh, we we were taking a look at the roster of these teams while while these two are playing. Um, lots of lots of space animals, and then I think one team has a Marth and one team has a Sheik. So I think we're gonna gonna have have a pretty exciting and honestly probably a pretty fast crew battle. Yeah. One um, Captain Falcon also. Well, One race car, man. Some... Excellent, excellent. I'm um, so belligerent play out of some. Yeah, very excited to see Chad. Irresponsible play. play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Kuba looking in control in this game, dude. Yeah, Kuba looking. Uh, Kuba they were kind of trading like back and forth of... initially, but I feel like Kuba has kind of taken control of the stage and really all the momentum in the matchup right now. Yeah, if um. I mean, the momentum can change so fast, especially with Falco as a, like, an absolute glass cannon. Mm -hmm. uh, but, Ooh, yeah. I like that high angle. That was, that was, that was yeah. gorgeous. I am a huge appreciator of, uh, of the angles. Um, did you see that? Did you see the read that Karan just went for? Uh, I did not. With, with the charge, it was, uh, we'll talk about it later. Uh, next edge guard. I, uh, this is looking pretty pretty rough right now, dude. Yeah, Kuba in control. If if Karan can uh, close out this last stock here, that'll put um, Brown in a better place. But uh, I think the nerves are starting to show, man. It looks like uh, oh my god, oh. that was gross. I love this? the bird. Dude. Oh, he dropped. The All right, get the reversal. Yeah, yeah, I think I, dude, dude, Brown really needed that, man. That that could have been that would have been yeah, ridiculous to come back from. To come out of game one uh, with only having lost one stock is pretty brutal. Because uh, it's not just—it's obviously not just about stocks in this first game. It's about which team will like probably maintain the counter pick advantage for the rest of the crew battle, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's looking like Georgia will take this, but uh, who knows, man? He's put Kron is putting up a bit of a fight at the end here. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, which is impressive. There we go. Oh, that's nice. That's a that's, godsend, dude. Yeah, really clutch gameplay from Thrawn here. And even if this is the end, which it is, uh, a very impressive end of the game there. Yeah, right? almost almost bringing it back from a three stock. I think that uh, I think that definitely he he definitely seemed looks like he recollected himself after kind of getting tossed a little bit. Um, so now we have 
uh, Kuba did, but uh, Kuba, Kuba just pulled this out uh, with one stock left. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, yeah, late game, late game comeback a bit from Quran, uh, keeping things pretty even. But uh, Brown's still going to have to put in the legwork. Yeah, for sure. Who we got up next? Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry. Yeah, sure thing, man. Got it, got it. So we're waiting on, uh, we're, we're waiting on Brown to send the next counter pick. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ryan, how was your day, dude? How was your Sunday? How was my Sunday? How was your Sunday, dude? Hell yeah. Uh, I, I wrote an absolutely useless paper. Uh, oh, good. Just good. 10 to 20 pages of nonsense. Um, this is for your Dead Poet on. Society professor, am I right? Yeah, I got a professor who uh, really fancies himself a Robin Williams and Dead Poet Society kind of guy. He wears a bow tie to the Zoom lectures. Um, mm hmm uh generally thinks he, the final is literally to write 10 to 20 pages about how his class changed your worldview which is an insane ask during the <laughs> pandemic like there's so there's so much happening that is actually shaking up and like destroying my worldview um and none of it was anything this like uh dude with a bow, bow tie had to say to me but uh it's done i'm done and mm -hmm. on to bigger and better things oh yeah dude how was the potle the pole, yeah, it was, it was, a, it was great, dude. I love waking up and chopping onions, and then I chop mm -hmm. the peppers at six a.m. Um, at six a.m. and then I get carpal tunnel from that, and then I play my favorite game, and I get carpal tunnel from that. Yeah, hell and yeah. Can I get some pog champs in chat for carpal tunnel syndrome? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. When I'm at my peak, when I'm like playing melee, playing guitar, and deadlifting frequently. I my fingers want to fall off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's a horrible game to play for uh for for the hands. Right. Oh, okay. okay. We got so, a treat. Yeah, we got a treat. We got a celebrity guest. Uh Georgia Institute of Technology sending in Will Smith, uh the Fox main. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um uh incredible surprise show up from Will Smith. Ryan, do you have five dollars in your wallet right now? Uh, I do have five dollars in my wallet right now. What's All right. Up? So, what color skin do you think Will Smith is going to bring out to the table? Uh, neutral fox. Neutral fox. I'm going. I'm going red. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. Good. Lucky, you want in? Lucky's. Lucky's going blue. Oh, yeah. For for anyone tuning in uh, from the stream last night, Lucky had us up uh, twenty dollars to our zero. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to... skins pretty gross. Um, that's okay. So we get another spacey ditto, same matchup as before. Uh, I'm excited to see it. Cuba uh, looks like they found their groove a little bit. Um, obviously, only one stock, so I don't know how much damage they're going to be able to do, but we'll see. Yeah, they looked like they were able to uh, to hold the center against Fox, really space him out, mm -hmm. um, which is what you got to do when you're slower. Uh, the other day, my dad texted me. My dad, who has been ignoring all sorts of like COVID precautions <laughs> and I've been avoiding, and he said, "Ryan, do you want to come over and watch Gemini Man starring Will Smith?" <laughs> That's all I've been thinking about. <laughs> That's the dude. Will Smith's been in some bangers lately. Gemini Man, bright, bright, yeah. No, um, Will Smith knows how to pick them. Yeah, dude. Is there is there like a critically revered Will Smith film? Uh, Hitch. Is Hitch critically reviewed? It, it's it's uh, regarded very fondly by me. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, that counts. I think if I had to pick my favorite movies, it would be Lady Bird, Eraserhead, and then Hitch. Hitch, yeah. Yeah, mine would be The Florida Project. Right. Hereditary. And then uh, also of hitch. <laughs> oh, what do you say? <laughs> Pursuit of happiness. <laughs> That's a banger. <clears throat> yeah, I had right. to watch that at school in high school. Not really a great movie. movie. Okay, so you're Will Smith right now. I'm Will Smith right now. You're Will Smith, multi millionaire, mm -hmm. and you're going in to just beat up a, a 22 year old comp sci student. 
Yeah. What stage are you going to pick? <laughs> FD. FD? I think. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Only- I don't know. I think in, in most matchups, Falco is pretty dominant on FD, but I, I do think that Fox sort of brings the heat mm-hmm. in, a, in a way that he can't uh, with chain grabs and stuff. Um, um, we, we got a shout out to Meth Rosenstock in chat uh, for only one David Lynch film shaking my head. You got, you got to show some diversity, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I love Inland Empire as much as the next guy. Rosenstock? Yeah, insane. That, insane that's pick. A, that's a great name. Um, Jeff is still the best uh, concert I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, Christian coming in with the After Earth Will, pick, Will Smith pick, which is a good one. Um, Hancock was fire. Yeah, bro. I love when he go eat at McDonald's. <laughs> if there's one scene I love, it's that. Uh, yeah, Jeff's still the best concert we've seen in my entire life. I miss live music so much. Yeah, shout out bomb music. Oh, they're going Dreamland. Going nice. to Dreamland. Okay. Um, you you do not like Dreamland as the bird. Am I right? I don't like Dreamland. Interesting. I, I don't know if that's well. You true. hate you hate the tree. I hate the tree. I do hate the tree. Mm. Yeah, big shout out to Bomb Music Industry. I uh, was on Sophie's floorboard earlier, and there was like this really old Bomb the Music Industry shout out. Really, and, uh, I got really nostalgic for a young Jeff Rosenstock. Do you know there's a a documentary, a Bomb the Music Industry doc? Yeah, we've watched that at your house, haven't we? No, I wasn't there for it. Oh well, then whatever, bro. We haven't watched it at your house. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Well, when I when I make this five dollars from the bet, um, I'll just use that to buy it. Oh, okay. Quinn I see the controller so overlays right. popping up. Quinn is so right. Bad Boys Two is easily. Oh the yeah, no bit. free, absolutely free. Bad Boys Two is a classic. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, and uh, in the vein of missing live. Music, All right. Uh, All right. Can yeah. you guys hear us now? We should be back. Um, stream, yeah, the stream went down. OBS crashed for lucky. We're, we're very sorry, but we should uh, be back up and running shortly with uh, Will Smith v. Cuba. Um, um, yeah, I don't know when we got cut off, but uh, but I, I was just saying, please do some more, support your grassroots communities uh during COVID nineteen, mm-hmm. join discords, uh attend locals, go to virtual concerts because grassroots communities mean a lot to me and uh I, I want them to still exist when we come back from this. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. But um uh lucky uh I think the stream in Discord also went down. That's okay. You're good dude, you're good. Also, Wayne uh, WSAD, is that my man, UMD Wayne? If so, shouts out. Also, shout outs to my girlfriend who uh, let us interrupt our date so I can commentate. 
Shout outs. Yeah, we're, we're all we're all in this together. So, um, Lucky, do you know if they're going to uh, replay the match or how far they are? OK. OK, uh, great, great. Will Smith took the last stock off of Cuba. Okay. All right, so we got Basil, Basil coming in for Brown. Will Smith banning FD. Um, it looks like Will Smith took that game clean. Only had to take one uh, last stock off of Cuba. Uh, so we got an even crew battle with a. Uh, is it Georgia that has a counter pick then? Uh, okay, so yeah. so we're going to Yoshi's. Fox did on Yoshi's. I'm excited. Ryan, now let's let's double the bet. What color is Basil playing? I'm gonna say blue fox, and Will Smith's playing red fox. Okay, I think Will Smith is neutral, and Basil is red. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. This is all or nothing. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Blue for both. Wait. Oh wait. Ah. Uh, Will Smith is red. We all got one right, I think. I got no, I got zero. Ooh, right. ooh we got Basil with the sticky oh. walks? The Charlie walk? Ooh! Mm. Basil schmoovin'. Basil schmoovin'. Basil has done nothing but. Uh, okay, we got. Okay, okay, let's go. I'm excited. So, this is a hand warmer. We're going to Yoshi's for the actual game. Um, keeping it small on Yoshi's. Keeping it small. I think. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen, dude. Fox is making my brain melt. Yeah. Think, oh god, uh, Basil's Basil's. Oh yeah, my god. I think based on Basil's Basil's movement in this warm up, he uh, they're pretty confident that they can just uh, just down literally down vibe on Yoshi's. I'm excited. Yeah, it's, I think um, what that tells me is that Basil's going to be more comfortable in like scrapping situations. You know, they want to really keeping force it. the rush down on Will yeah, Smith. Keeping it close. Right, right. Like you like Kevin know. James and Will Smith and Hitch, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Truthfully, Truthfully, I thought Hitch. I thought Hitch was Hancock until somebody said Hancock. <laughs> I don't know what Hitch is. <laughs> That's messed up. What's the one where Jaden Smith goes to a planet? Uh, After Earth. Earth. After mm -hmm. Earth. That's a classic. Uh, it's like a Karate Kid sequel, I think. <laughs> Ready. Mm. It's all we do, brother. Okay, we're on Yoshi's. They're moving real quick, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. How do they press buttons as fast? Past each other. So we, we were talking about Basil a lot because they were impressing us with the schmoovin', but it looks like Will Smith is kind of... Oh, as soon as I say that, Basil off with a nice uh, double up air. Up throw, up air, it, it comes for us all, you know? Yep. There's no escape. Someday. There's SDI, but what do I look like? You know? A nerd? Absolutely not. <laughs> Will Smith holding it down right now, keeping Basil on the ropes, dude. Um, yeah, Basil having a hard time just getting back on stage or establishing any kind of uh, neutral situation. Oh, the dude, those jabs were so nice. I'm a big fan of that. Ooh, I want oh, that. that looks like a missed input. I thought they were going to convert for a second, but uh, Will Smith punishing that illusion. Ma Do you respect jabs? Do I respect jabs? I have no love for jabs. Like pummels and grabs? Yeah, no love. Ooh, Will Smith! Well, I think that they're in a crew battle and they need to win, but if you're on unranked and you're like uh, pummeling to, <laughs> to the fullest extent, then uh, yeah, I think you're a little bit of a cop. But yeah, Will Smith looking kinda dirty. Uh, who knew? Who knew, dude? Who knew Will Smith was like hot on the sticks? Um. Yeah, Basil just hasn't really been able to find footing despite those really beautiful, what are they called, Charlie walks? Who cares? It was awesome. Um, yeah, Basil having a hard time just getting back on stage. Will yeah, Smith they're, they're kind of giving up center really easily, and Will Smith yeah. is kind of just like... And then getting up on a platform and just waiting. Right, for an but they find the up smash. Um, yeah, Basil able to close one out, but Will Smith looking absolutely dominant. Uh, yeah. If he can finish this off, they'll have taken five stocks and only lost one. Mm -hmm, which is pretty mm -hmm. huge, uh, especially going in down the stock uh, to his first game. Let's see, I, th I think Basil can definitely get something cooking. You can't move like that. And now, ooh, oh, oh, The movement is gross. They're playing with their heart, man. That's all. Yeah, oh. heart and soul. Oh, my God. 
Art, no. this, is, this is what you wish you played like. I do, I really do. They're putting on a show, and they're literally not hitting Will Smith, but like, I <laughs> don't all. care, dude. Yeah, it's just fun to watch. And at the end of the day, at, when, when uh, it's all said I, I think they were going for the biggest brain Randall recovery of all time, and they just mistimed the short end. That's what I'm going to go with, and not that they mistimed the mid short end to grab ledge. Shout out to Basil for showing off some sick movement. And Will yeah. Smith held that down. Will Smith only lost one stock, am I right? Will Smith, did, yeah, did not fall for any of it. Mm -hmm. But at the at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, the, the book of revelations comes. Are you going to remember who won the crew battle or whose play made you a better person? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I got to say. What we got up next. All right, let me. I'm gonna pull up the rosters real quick. So, um, all right, so all we got right. Go Mega coming in with the Falco uh, for Brown. All spaces so far, which I mean, I'm cool with, dude. I love com I love watching this these matchups. Um, I love watching them just blip around. Yeah, dude. I think I actually caught Go Mega on the stream yesterday, and they were looking pretty pretty wild. I'm I'm excited to watch this game. Yeah, I just saw Go Mega earlier before we. Uh, before we tuned in, um, mm -hmm. Gomega looking pretty sweet. Will Smith, though, proving to be a formidable force, man. Yeah, Will Smith looking gross, and uh, his momentum coming into this is uh, a bit concerning. Yeah, um, if someone could clip um, Scrappy saying Will Smith looks gross and send it to ejlassie at gmail.com. <laughs> um, all, all right, right, so yeah, that makes sense. We got an FD ban. Uh, we might be going back to Yoshi's. That would be exciting. Yoshi's yeah. is so uh, explosive when you put some fast characters on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, why mess around? Right. Yeah. Why it's a crew battle. You know, why are we point? here? We're, we're looking to see just some kids beat the crap out of each other. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And Yoshi's is perfect for that. Yoshi's is my go-to counter pick. If I'm like playing the Falco Ditto or something, uh, and I just get absolutely rocked game one, and I need it to be <laughs> over as fast as possible. So for all this talk about Yoshi's, though, they are going to head to Battlefield. Um, Gomega uh, looking for a little more space, it seems. Um, I'm excited. Will Smith did look really comfortable in those like scrappy Fox Ditto interactions, so I guess that makes yeah. sense. Will Smith also looked like he wasn't easily overwhelmed. Yeah, true, true. Um, so I'm excited to see how they play around lasers. Um, yeah, able to sort of, good uh, see through and just get done what he needs to get done. And the blue Falco, the coolest skin. The blue Falco is the coolest skin, absolutely. So Ryan, do you see blue Falco as wearing like pants tucked into his boots, or are those just his legs? He's wearing pants tucked into his boots. Probably. I don't know, man. <laughs> I think he, I think he matted down his feathers, and he's just gunning it. That would be cool. Well, he's wearing a belt, though. Nah, that makes it better. Anyway. Do you have an idea how to from move on from that? <laughs> from you talking about a Falco has no pants on? Absolutely not. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so they're going to start at uh, 7.45 on Battlefield, and they're just doing a little hand warmy right now. I was uh, I was watching Activated 4, uh, Bab's combo video for the mm. hundredth time. Right. And that guy loves to, to beat up Falcos. Also, it feels so good. Who doesn't yeah. like to like just whoop a bird, you know? Yeah, I, 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 there are, I've watched that combo video so many times that there are Bring Me the Horizon songs I know by heart now because, of, <laughs> um, which is a bummer, but, uh, hey man, what can you do? All right, so we're going into Battlefield once again, starting at 745, um, yeah. Will Smith down one stock, well, I mean, up three stocks, I guess, depending on how you look at things. Right. A, a very doable, uh, game for Will Smith. But obviously, Gomega has the advantage here, so see how it goes. Omega right out. Ooh, those. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Read the jumps with the um, high laser, the full jump laser. Once again, though, Will Smith not um, 
not not being phased. Yeah, he felt he looked very comfortable like regaining uh, center stage, really willing to like um, not go in for the attack and just reposition, which is really cool. This is just, this is just what good players do, man. Yeah, Omega is still sort of like keeping him out with lasers and stuff and generally winning. Yeah, for sure. That was Ooh. that was a gorgeous sequence. That's the that's the way the bird lives and dies. Yep, shout out to Omega for going for the edge cancel F smash off rip. Um nothing like dropping from Angel platform and just immediately wanting to give your opponent a concussion. Yeah, we respect the vision. And also probably like the crew battle nerves that make you go for the most obvious option. For sure. Alright, so we're seeing a very laser heavy uh, approach from Omega just to kind of stuff Will Smith, get them out of center, crush them to the ledge. Because I, I do think that early on Omega kind of. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, you hate to see that, but. Yeah. It, it was fresh. Um, an unfortunate trade uh, since uh, Will Smith is sure. such a high stock, but. Yeah, especially you know. because. Uh, and also because Will Smith got that early stock. Yeah, for sure. It, it really do. It does seem like Omega puts on the percent, and then Will Smith closes out with stock anyway. Yeah, for sure. Which like we saw uh, Omega getting some really nice like couple hit combos, but then Will Smith just brings it right around, and now uh, Omega's in the corner. Oh, oh you game. hate to see it, man. That is Ooh. the cool battle for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Gomega had a had a lot of chances here. Had had a pretty solid punish game, but <laughs> Will Smith remains unfazed. Will Smith yeah. is a calm, cool, and collected melee. Player. I'm so glad we got to commentate such a great tag for so long. You know what I mean? But this is yeah. super doable. Gomega really brought it around with that last stock. And uh, oh, are we gonna oh. see something nice? Man, Will Smith is just so good at avoiding that Falco uh, pillar pressure, dude. Yeah, Will Smith just gets out of things. I'm really impressed with how uh, defensively and patiently he can play. Mm -hmm. and, Which uh, I feel like Fox is just... Oh. If he closes this out, it'll, it'll, Will Smith will have taken nine stocks. Yeah. Oh, and he oh, yeah, does. Wow. Yeah, Will Smith taking that's nine crazy. stocks. One stock left. Let's see what he, damage he can do with it. Um, Will Smith kind of kind of gross with it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that leaves that leaves Brown with two players left. Cheddar. Dang. Uh, okay, a Falcon and a Sheik. Let's go. Okay, okay. We like to see that. Shout out to ninety six viewers. Uh, oh, yeah. very nice. Ryan, can I get a Borat impression, bro? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why are you are? Yeah, yeah. Is there a Borat emo? Can I get any Borats in chat? I'm gonna move on from this bit. Uh, uh, so Falcon Sheik has been the topic of some of the more infuriating melee discourse right, I've seen in right. a while. What Just, do you think it comes down to at its base? I think that Sheiks are incredibly jealous of literally every other character's uh, reputation. <laughs> This is true. Because they're, like, not as infuriating as Puff or, like, as scary as Marth. And they don't get the cool points that Captain Falcon or, like, Falco get. Or, like, mm -hmm. the only honorable character, which is Luigi. Um, <laughs> uh, so they're just left in this weird in-between space where I think most people view them as, like, pretty bread and butter. Mm -hmm. And uh, Captain Falcon gets all the praise. So I think that the Sheik's... Hell yeah, Cheddar's up. We're going to see right. some uh, Falcon on Fox action. Yeah, Cheddar's um, definitely looking to clean out Will Smith as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, I think Falcon's just gotten too much too much love for too long in their eyes, and they're kind of jealous. But uh, he I has, think every like... Sheik is absolutely wrong. I think Captain, like I think they say that like they're the same, but the Captain Falcon has to commit so much more. He's exactly. He's, it's, he's oh, I feel like around. it comes down to risk versus reward, dude. Sheik is just able to... Um, like there, you can you can laugh about stomp, uh, knee all you want, but that is every chic setup, you know. Captain Falcon has to gamble so much more with his interactions. Yeah, and he Even also just chasing, you know? zips around the stage and is jacked, and like uh, the knee has the electric on it. Like right, right. He has muscles, and I want him to step on me. Yeah, that's it. So, I don't know. I, I think the Sheik's got nothing here. Anyway, real quick, what color of Falcon does Cheddar play? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say he's a he's a pink Falcon. A pink falcon. Pink That's falcon. 
a rare breed these days. You don't see pink falcons and you don't see black falcons. All right, oh, Lucky's out here calling green. Um, shoot. Okay, uh, I'll take neutral falcon. Right. Okay. Cap, just okay. Captain Falcon. Just the classic. Um, I'm a huge, I'm a huge green Captain Falcon fan myself. Me too. Me too. Oh yeah. I um, play green Falcon for the chat. I think blue Falcon is the grossest one. Blue Falcon looks like a Boy Scout. You know, <laughs> do look like a Boy Scout. But yeah, pink is kind of classic. Yeah, I feel like SG. <laughs> So, uh, if it sounds, stands for stream good, Lucky. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah, good job putting together the stream. <laughs> um, if anyone in the chat knows what the abbreviation SG stands for, please, God, let us know. That's what stage they picked. Uh, oh, oh, it's is it FD and they just misclicked because they're all in a line there on my phone. No, FOD. All right, all right. Um... Black Falcon, okay, let's Black go. Falcon. Cool. Shout outs to Dark Rain, Mind Reader. Yeah, we found out Dark Rain is Jack now. Yeah. I, like, he was never, like, not yeah, muscular, but, he's, but now he's, like, yeah. Which is cool. True. All right, Cheddar looking nice with these wavelengths. I love, I love me a good wavelength, dude. Yeah. <gasps> nice. Yeah. Mm -mm. Cheddar Look, all you gotta get me to do is like, you just gotta oh. make the animations go dumb. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The more you can break the game, the more excited I get. Yeah. And uh, we love to see it. I hope, I hope Cheddar plays an absolute belligerent Captain Falcon. Me too, man. I want to see absolutely no thoughts in his head. I want him to hold the forward direction with the gray stick and then and hit then the yellow stick. The cool stuff, yeah. Um, uh, Ryan, irrespons real quick. irresponsible play. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Unjustifiable play. Mm-hmm. Um, play that. Mm -hmm. Play that will make his team upset. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Screw it. You're down. You're down. Like more than a whole four stocks put on a show you know yeah play with heart play with honor mm -hmm. all right so we might be going to fd um we'll see where we're thinking the sg was a miss type but we're just going to kind of vibe out with it You want to wager a guess? Yeah, I'm going to guess it's FD. I think that's got to be it. All right. All right, uh, it's Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium, which, yep. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, cool. Can you give me a favorite uh, Pokemon Stadium transformation? Me? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I, I like the Rocks transformation because it's broken. Mm -hmm. Because you get to do funny things. You get to do pit fights. You got to play on the cliff. Yep. Um, I, I think. Uh, I think. For, uh, as a guy who hates Wispy, uh, mm -hmm. I do think Pokemon is really fun, and I think that. Um, hell yeah, we're starting. Right, so we're gonna start at the forty in a couple seconds. I think that people who want to freeze Pokemon don't know how to have fun. <laughs> Um, That's true. I have enjoyed it as like a neutral starter, but dude, I wanna I wanna get the windmill combos again, you know? Yeah, I wanna do stupid stuff with my friends, or like uh, just have both of us sit there for a long time because neither of us wants to play the stage. Yet. That's what it's all about. Speaking of stupid play, these characters are playing pretty smart, methinks. Um, the Captain Falcon not not just holding forward. We're seeing a lot of nice space backers, but oh, dude, oh my god. Will Smith unfazed by literally everything that's been thrown at him. Yeah, man, I don't like... Dude, if I get combo that hard, like, I'm just mentally done for the stock. <gasps> oh, he's oh, taunted on him! Will Smith got oh. his respect. I have, I have so much respect for Will Smith. Dude, I don't... Uh, he's forgetting his uh, humble origins as the Fresh Prince, dude. That show is all about respect and honesty. I don't know, bro. And, and respecting your opponent. 
But that's the thing. I feel like you're this far in. You got to do some mental damage to make sure you can take more stocks. Because I feel like Cheddar's phased at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Will He's got to put the team on his back. And now this man's taunting on him. Will Smith knows how to just sit and wait. We Cheddar love our B out of shield, dude. Yeah, Cheddar got the nice read there. Um, looking a little stuck though. Get it. it. What am I trying to say? Never mind. Uh, oh, dude, those fade backs. Let's go. If he Just can just grab. close this out, that'll be great for him. Not yeah, for sure. <gasps> yeah, no. That was so fast. Okay. Nice. All right, Cheddar. So is that nine or ten stocks for Willie? Wow, wow, uh, one. Will. Yeah, and then two whole characters. Yeah, ten. 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 This is why. Literally not... half of brown. Mm hmm. Dang. That's, that's pretty crazy. Will Smith put in the work. Um, super impressed with Will Smith's play. An incredibly uh, enigmatic tag, enigmatic actor, and apparently a, uh, a, a fantastic melee player. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um,. We'll see who we got coming in next. Yeah, because Georgia. Georgia Tech's got some options right now. Yeah, and uh, they got all the room in the world to work with, you know? Yeah, they have a Marth, a and a two Falcos, I believe? No, a Fox and a Falco. They got three Falcos on their team. That's wild. Three Falcos. So we're going to see either Tall, Pepperjack, or Ryan. Another bird named Ryan, bro. Hell yeah. Pepperjack also got a smiley face after his name, which is part of the tag. Mm-hmm. Respect. Yeah. Uh, we gotta see Cheddar just like playing belligerent. I want I want Cheddar's play to remind me of an Earth Crisis song. <laughs> I, I wanted to Alright, so we're gonna see Tall going in. That is um Georgia Georgia Tech's Marth player. Um Yeah. And uh We'll, yeah, probably see him go FD. I FD? Assume. Going Yoshi's, going yeah, Yoshi's that, that makes sense. I hate fighting Marth on this stage as Falcon, man. Um, the the big the big sword metal hitbox just, uh, here's the thing. I can't tell good Marths from bad Marths, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, because we fall, we're too low level. We fall for the glue-eating Marth stuff. For sure. For sure. Like F smash. And here's the thing. I think if you took like just the glueiest like chugging Elmer's Marth and then combined it with like literally like I don't know M2K levels of like game knowledge and perfection, you might have like the perfect Marth player. Yeah, none of them are brave enough to eat that much glue though. So if you're if you're on Reddit, um, like a dork, this matchup's 50-50. But uh, if you're a real one, you know Falcon loses. <laughs> Yeah, and this is coming from somebody who has not taken a set in bracket in 2020. Yeah. Um, oh, well, this isn't a hand warmer. They're just playing. Oh, no, it is a hand warmer. It is a hand warmer. Okay, my bad, my bad. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're going to Yoshi's. Um, I, I'll never, I'll never forget Drew just, like, F, F smashing. Uh. <laughs> a nine-year-old. So yeah, had just, to just his taking the video you know, and just... Tear it up. Ethan's think... brother has no respect for anyone mm -hmm. uh, as a competitor. Oh, Wayne's at, at me in the chat. What's up, Wayne? <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Top three, baby. Uh, oh. Yeah. All right, we're starting at 40 here from a neutral start on Yoshi's. But yeah, Ethan's brother got no respect for uh, any competitor. Uh, I think that is proven by his recent four of Game & Watch. Oh! oh that's nice. what you like to do. That's delicious. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Sweet Spot and Randall with Marth is pretty tough. Um, so shout out to Tal for going for it. But like, we got an even, we got an even match right now. Oh my god. That down air tech chase was so custom. Oh! It's just a just gross and explosive. Dude, oh my! This is what you like to see. This, this is, is why we. See. This is why we play the twenty-year-old children's game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice gentleman. Okay. Oh, there go. Yeah, this is so. This is such a fast back and forth. I know Cheddar has to like dominate to make it worth it for his team. But... 
I'm, I'm enjoying the just the just like absolute slobber knocker. Yeah, tragic reverse right there though, man. That that hurts. Misses the F smash. We've seen that Cheddar's able to reverse it back though. Right. The looks like a composed player, man. Yeah, both. Oh, of them. that was a nice gentleman. He's gonna get the edge guard. Taking heavy punishes and giving him back. I think um. Respect. You know what? Here's the thing. They shield the first two hits. You might as well just run it. Oh, oh. For a team already down, that is unfortunate. But here's the thing. If there's a matchup that this can happen, and if there's a character that can do it, Captain Falcon can put a dent in a team. You know what I mean? Yeah, Captain Falcon be explosive. And Cheddar's shown that he can do it. His punish game looks kind of ridiculous. Uh, yeah, Tall especially, just... Especially not afraid to just move in on this, like, close quarter stage. Right. It's caught, uh, with a crouch cancel. Smash. Oh, uh, but yeah, we told Ethan's brother we'd buy his Chinese food for him if, uh, if he won a set, uh, after the tournament, and he went up against a kid who was, like, actually nine, and just F-smashed him. Game it was really, it was yeah. really sad and tragic. And, uh, a little bit like that, uh, <laughs> yeah. Tall just kind of keeping it clean at the end there, making quick work at Shatter. That was an awesome set, though. Um, yeah, that was a, that was a very cool game. Yeah, um, if there, I don't know if anyone wants to make some sort of combo video of, like, the top coolest moments of this whole uh, enterprise, but I, I would... Yeah, that was sick. Alright, uh, anchoring for Brown, we got uh, Azul, who is a chic player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of leg work to be put in right. if, if Brown is going to stand a chance uh, for in this third place crew battle match, but uh, we'll see. Now, there's a matchup that I know very little about, which is... There, there's plenty of them. Marth Sheik is something so foreign to me, I can't even grasp it. But I do know that Sheik has been known to win it since the dawn of time. Um, yeah. So I think that's a smart anchor. I'm excited to see if Usagi Azul um, can put a turn in. A matchup that's seen a lot of discourse with, like, Left making a big stink about... Marth Fox, yeah. Marth Fox on it, the, um, trying out his Sheik against Zane. Uh, so this is a hand warmer right now, but they are going to play on FOD uh, for the actual game, which is uh, yeah, the platform movement from Azul looking pretty gross. Dude, look, Sheik scares me to begin with. You know, Sheik just crouching is like enough to kind of make my head start shaking. Yeah. But when Sheik start like actually playing the video game. Like, yeah. what when, do you do? When the Sheiks do the Connor the Kid thing where they run off the stage and then and then immediately up the back to the play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty gross. I, so I, I'm excited have, to see this, I, I've been tossing some hands with Sheiks lately on Unranked. Some pretty bad Sheiks, but... Feels good. They've been catching these hands. Which always always feels good. Mm -hmm. Usagi rocking the coolest Sheik skin, arguably. Ready? Yeah, and uh, Tall rocking my favorite Mark skin. Yeah. Are right, they're gonna start at uh, 7:40? Um. Yeah, I think uh, Azul got a got a steep hill to climb, and I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it, but I'm hoping they just can kind of put on a show for us as the anchor for Brown. I think they can definitely take this game. Ooh. Oh yeah. They, I immediately they forgot how like sick Tall was though. Oh, nice. oh, that up smash. All right, we got a grab. Let's see. Yeah, so I will turn around with the grab. Yeah, he'll. Uh, I mean, he'll at least pull out this game, but uh, yeah, for sure. Certainly a tall order to then take the next two games. Uh, where the other two is a counter, but dude, tall is just not giving the word. Not like yeah, not letting him breathe. It gets a little cocky with the dash attack, though. Um, yeah, he's feeling himself at this point. I mean, I would be too, man. Yeah, he's kind of earned it. Yeah, I mean, you you hit the good hitbox on Martha's up smash, and it's like, you can lose the set, bro. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you won the moral victory. Oh, it looks like Azul might have a chance to uh, take this without losing stock, though, depending on how they play this. Yeah, if Tall can get... 
back to the center and uh, reset. But obviously, especially in this matchup, this is where it gets hard for Mark. You know, your kill options are limited. You're kind of fishing for an F smash or a up tilt or something like that. But let's see. Oh, ooh, they find it. That would be the F smash. Yeah. yeah. And that's going to do it. Good stuff from this. Good um, stuff from. <laughs> Lucky, are you a Marth man? Yeah. Lucky, lucky talking some ish right now, but yeah, lucky talking smack on all sheiks uh, behind the commentator. And honestly, I'm here for it, man. Yeah, Boy, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Well, I'll come for the Marths next, though. As soon oh as yeah, all the sheiks are gone. We're coming for the Marths next. Uh, but yeah, it's all putting in a lot of work, um, leaving Usagi with three stocks to to take down Georgia uh, Georgia Tech's last two whole players. Mm -hmm. um, so not looking easy. Lucky, do you know somebody named Consistent Failure in chat? Oh my goodness! Well, they said your Marth is trash. The number one ultimate player. Oh, oh yeah, you, of course you have OBS hooked <laughs> up. Um, all right, so let, let, I want to hear some from some brown people in chat. How how do we feel about Usagi Azul's chances of making this competitive? I want to I want to get people riled up, and I want yeah. to get some and, like. And this anger. is the only time I've ever has to say. So say that again. You cut out for a sec. I said, and this is the only time I've ever wanted to hear a student from Brown University like their input on anything. So <laughs> so, so this is your chance. Cool. Oh, okay, thank you. Cool, cool. Uh, so we got uh, Ryan yeah. pulling up with the bird. Ryan so you were talking a little bit about bird. this matchup. You feel pretty comfortable at this, at our incredibly low level of play. Right, yeah. No, I'm an absolute lowest level Falco, but I pull up against a, uh absolute lowest level Sheik, and uh, and I'm feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I think Falco still got the win neutral button. Uh, right. And... Uh, all right, so Ryan is taking Usagi Azul to Stadium. Um, I'm excited to see how that plays out. Yeah, I, I, but you know these players, they know how to they know how to SDI. They mm -hmm. not only can perform slide off DI, but they mm -hmm. know what it is. Right. Um, so I don't know. I'm I'm excited to see uh, people shield drop without yeah. just spot dodging six times in a row. All all exciting stuff. All exciting <laughs> gameplay options. That I have absolutely never done. On mm -hmm. purpose. On purpose. Oh, we cracked 100 views. Let's go. Nice. Thank One you guys three. for tuning in. Please give the channel a follow. Lucky has done a great job putting the tournament together. Truly incredible. Um, Lucky, correct me if I'm wrong. Are you kind of a one-man band running this whole thing? Dang. That's, That's insane, awesome. man. Lucky hosting hosting this by himself with a little with with his helpers. Mm -hmm. uh, Shout out to out clean, clean water, water and, and uh, Seagull and what was the third one? And whiskers. Oh, and Dwayne. Whiskers and Dwayne whiskers crowds also. Whiskers. Shout out to the sick Yoshi dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, no. Support your scenes. Uh, do stuff like this. Throw tournaments together. Um. This stuff is important. If you also care about music, uh, put together virtual shows uh, mm -hmm. for local bands in your community. Yeah, uh, join this Discord server, the intercollegiate uh, Slippy Discord server, and uh, you can build your community with your college and colleges in your area. Um, I know that Boston being like just a college hub has a uh, crazy amount of schools uh, with different scenes and um, tons of great players at, at each school. Uh, not to not to not to flaunt too much, but Northeastern did have crush. We, right. We, right. Well, we, we got Wayne. Crush. We got Brams at UMass Dartmouth. We got our sick four-man round robins every Thursday. You know. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. That's a beautiful thing, because the same four people showing up to play a 20-year-old game every week and uh, place exactly the same every week. You it's know? awesome. That's, that's the what it's all about. It. What's the, what's the Vonnegut quote about uh, writing? Writing poems? Uh, it's, I, I don't know exactly, but it's something about just making art and uh, loving the fact that it's bad. And he's like, write your friend a poem, and I hope it sucks. Like, <laughs> Play Melee. I hope you go O2. 
Yeah, play melee. I hope you go too. I hope you make great friends. Um, because that's what it's all about. Make a hardcore record in your bedroom. I hope it sounds like crap. Put it out on Bandcamp. Play a couple shows. Have a great time. <clears throat> All right, starting at Stadium on 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Potentially the last game of this crew battle, depending on how uh, Ryan plays this. And But, you know, I'm hoping to see one more game, man. I, I, I'm always down for more Melee. Yeah, I'm down for Usagi to put on a run. But, mm -hmm. uh... <gasps> Ooh, aw, oh, dude. Hitting him with a lot of familia. I love the F smash, mm -hmm. man. We saw you coming in with the hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Ryan, uh, she's seeming unable to find him so far. Right, it's just that. Oh! oh Usagi is well, kind of just all over Ryan in that whole situation. I think, um. Yeah, yeah Ryan is just. Letting the bird breathe. Mm -hmm. Because Sheik is just, once again, so comfortable in these close quarters, scrap situations. They they have so many options to just pop you right up, grab you, do whatever. Oh! That was a nice poof. Um, yeah, that runoff poof is scary all the time. Ryan looking like she has a little bit of a uh, tough time finding footing, but we're getting a nice little combo going. Went for yeah. the softest of back airs. I respect that. That wave dash back into up tilt was really nice. Yeah. Is good awareness and like using your brain, which is uh, always stuff that I admire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dude, Usagi Azul's coming alive right now, man. Yeah, Usagi Azul looking uh, pretty fresh and pretty gross. Ryan also looking a whole lot more comfortable in this matchup right now, though. Definitely just looking like she's giving uh, a whole lot more space to Usagi Azul, which I think is uh, to the benefit. Yeah, giving space, looking for openings. Which Falco can do. I know, like, sort of the stereotype is that, like, Falco runs down with lasers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but Falco can also keep mm -hmm. distance and, and wait for wait for a hole to open up. Mm -hmm. Usagi Azul's needles are um, giving me a stomachache. Oh my god. F smash. And that's that's gonna up till is gonna close out the first stock at yeah living to 146. Yeah. Um, <gasps> dude. Oh. Yeah, Usagi came to play. If, if Usagi can close this out with two stocks left, that would be so dude. Undo. That was crazy. This is crazy play. Dude, they didn't take percent. That's mm -hmm. insane. I do not find myself rooting rooting for Sheiks uh, ever. Yeah. But dude, like they're playing. They're playing aggressive cheek right now, and that's sick. Um, and I really okay. don't think like Ryan is is too much of a slouch. No, I was thinking the same thing. I think um, Usagi's being oppressive. <gasps> Dang. Oh, unfortunate way for it to end. Look, I don't want to put false hope into uh, Usagi Azul Brown or any Brown fans out there, but this is doable. Yeah. Yeah, this is doable. We uh we got Pepper Jack smiley face coming up. I've been excited. And, uh, I've been excited for Pepper Jack. It's 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 four to two. This is way closer than I thought it'd be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm uh, yeah Usagi really just brought it back. Um, I'm, what am I do? So uh, who is um Pepper Jack smiley face playing? They're a fox, am I right? Fox, right. All right, one last bet for the night, fellas. Okay. Right. La last bet for us. There is a finals coming up at 11 to determine who gets first in the intercollegiate slippy. Be sure you stay tuned. There's going to be some great melee coming up. That being said, I will put $10 that Pepper Jack will play Red Fox. Okay, I'll go blue or purple or whatever you want to call it. We got FD Van going to Yoshi's Green. Ew. Green. Ew. <sighs> Jalapeno chip. Fox. Yeah, that sucks. Oh. Okay. We are going to Yoshi's though, right, Lucky? Right. Right. We have a hand warm going on right now. Um, I believe I it was Mango who once said, I used to think Green Fox looked cool <laughs> and, and I had sex. Um, <laughs> that, yeah. That. <laughs> and, uh, 
If, if, if that's it, not true. In favor of Green Fox, he does have the red chucks. You know? Yeah. I think there's something to be said. Shout out 106 okay. viewers, man. That's awesome. Yeah, shout out to 106 viewers. Make sure to follow the channel. Follow the channel. Join the Discord. Um, Lucky, is the Discord link anywhere on stream? Is there a bot or something? Oh, okay, great. In the chat, to join the Discord, hit exclamation point Discord, and then you can pop in right in. You can uh, talk with a bunch of cool people. You can uh, learn more about the Intercollegiate Melee or start your own little, little scene, you know? It's a great opportunity. Um, all right, so we have Usagi Azul with two stocks versus Pepper Jacks four on Yoshi's. Uh, super strong Fox stage, obviously. There was the missed opportunity for Cheddar versus for Pepper Jack. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow. That's some cosmic stuff. Yeah, there's one bird I used to say. Alright, Sagi and Zul got an uphill battle here, but uh, we saw last game that it's not phased. Just not phased. Right, right. I think if Usagi Azul can even just take like two stocks before going down too heavy, there's just gonna be so much pressure on Pepper Jack. It's like it's like when you're four stocking somebody and then they like you see that they're coming back, you know? Yeah, the and then he will try moment. Right, right. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Ooh, oh my, all of a sudden, dude. Usagi gets that one for free. Dude. Uh, which is fortunate for Brown. And this is all of a sudden a one stock crew battle. Uh, dude. Something that looked impossible when they were down like nine stocks. Yeah, right? honestly. Usagi's kind of a monster, man. <gasps> oh, oh, these the smashes just don't stop. I've never, never in my life cheered for a Sheik this much. Yeah. Not to put down Pepper Jack. I think he's obviously the anchor for a reason, but he's just not getting a chance to breathe right now, man. Yeah, Usagi finds openings and then just capitalizes on them. <gasps> oh, this is, oh, this oh is dude. Gross. Was and that, was that sudden, up here that shit? Oh my, okay. Oh, Usagi, Usagi's sick, dude. Usagi's disgusting. And we, yeah. Crazy DI. Right. Those needles? Oh, insane. Is he gonna get another for free? No way. No. no. Uh, dude, that slow getup was so unfortunate. I think he definitely could have taken a stock off that, but dude. This is insane. This is insane. Even stocks, a, a bit of a percent lead, but. Uh, Big brain air dodge onto Randall. Uh, tough recovery. <gasps> but Georgia Tech's lead has just melted. melted. Dude, if I'm Pepper Jack. I'm shaking. I'm sweating. Yeah, dude. literally shaking. Oh, Crazy random God. play, dude. He's trying to warp him from the end. Oh, the <gasps> that, oh dude, that would have if he hit that. And oh, oh this is this could be it. Nope. Slow get up again. Still recovered, dude. And, and Jack just like shaking. That brown is Sagi Azul. Sagi Azul has not lost a sock. That is ridiculous. Sagi Azul is going. This uh, this consistent performance under pressure with like no fluffs is insane. The needles just grab. Yeah, and not like a whole ton of like a uh, tech chasey shit from from his. No, honestly, honestly they're going for the super sick stuff, man. Those nice yeah. like up smash reads, you know what I mean? It just we're, it nets we're you down so to much. Last stock, but uh, the momentum is definitely on Brown's side. What was it? Uh, Wasn't it like it was like all, six to thirteen at one point, man? All thanks that's to their insane, insane. <gasps> and that's oh, it. Oh my god! And Brown takes third place. That's an insane comeback. Do we have a stock count on how many Azul took? That was ridiculous, man. I does oh my god! We'll have like a Twitch stream or something. People can go. Yeah, that was something. ridiculous. <laughs> Shout out to both teams. Shit. That was so hype, man. That was a great, great crew battle. That was an incredible performance from Usagi. I think Usagi definitely just broke their gamer chair popping off, you know? Yeah, I hope so. If oh, Usagi man. didn't pop off, I'd be disappointed. Yeah, Usagi earns that, man. Poof. That was some awesome melee. Yeah, good stuff, you got man. The, the Cheddar versus Tall game. Tall put in some work. Yeah, yeah. That was 